look at that bad boy. Good to see you again. This is a lovely, beautiful industrial backdrop that we're going to be looking at a little bit today. See that? It can just switch nicely at the back of your layout there. I'm going to show you another couple of buildings that I've been working on. Have a look at this. I bring them up like magic. Now these are sort of townhouses. Look at that. That's a really nice bright one. A much more sort of doer one there. Can you see that? All the work on there. I'm going to show you how to do the little intricacies today. That's what we're going to do. There's that one and there's another one. You see a little bit taller. Hey, like that, so you put them next to each other. <laughs> so you get all three of them together now. Can you see this? I'm sure you can. He's hiding behind the old warehouse there. Look at that. Shove him in the middle. I haven't quite topped this one out. We're going to have a look at that in a minute. I just want you to see what's coming your way. Look at that. Hey, beautiful. And now we're going to have a look at how to um, work on some of the top. Okay then, so let's have one last another little look at this beauty. I just love it and I love making it. Much simpler than you would ever imagine to do this. Now, there it is. So it's repetition, 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 as it is in all of the buildings, you know. You've seen me do this many, many times. But here we go. Basically, if you've got a sheet of these bricks, remember you can print this out as many times as you want. You buy the package, you could buy 20 of these. More. There's your window, it all comes in the package. There's a little bit of, what's it called? A little bit of roofy thing that comes in a package. That's French for package, it's not really. And then we have these little doors, look, these sort of factory doors. These, look at that, there's hardly anything there. Makes this. It's magic, isn't it? But very, very easy for you to do. Okay, now what I suggest if when you're looking at actually building these, all these things, these townhouses um, as well, I would refer to the, pretty much any one of the videos will tell you, but the how-to video that we did a while ago um, would be ideal just to show you um, how to build a house. It's the same technique every time, okay? That's very important to remember, very important to remember. Keep it simple, keep it simple. That's the way, and this is very simple. It just looks great, and it looks quite complex, but believe me, it isn't. Go to the how-to video. Today, what I'm gonna concentrate on, for those of you that are still with me, yes, that's all of you, good, 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 is the little bits and bobs that you get here, for instance. Do you see? Like that. All the wind, the sills and the cornices, I call them, that sort of thing. But more importantly, um, the little bits of roof furniture. I'd call them. Uh, your, your layout will look a bit flat. The buildings look a bit flat if you leave them like that, yeah? Okay, so you want little little bits and bobs like this little chimney pop, which I like. And then you pop that. That one goes on this dark one like that. And then all of a sudden, it's got a bit of something going on on top, yeah? And it's, it's there's detail. And then there's attention to detail, okay? Now you don't need to be a brilliant artist or clever or anything to do this. I'm sort of mediocre at everything and basically a bit stupid when it comes to stuff. But when I just look at things like this, it's a box on a piece of gray, okay? So that's all it is. I'm gonna show you how to do a little bit of street furniture. But first, I'm just gonna finish off the cornice of this. Now, I've, what will come with the package also is this. Now, this looks very simple. Guess why? Because it is. But this will just be included in the package. Now, I'll use this. This will be good for doing, you know, your details. Your, oh, look, it fell off. Because I hadn't, <laughs> I hadn't stuck it down. Um, for doing all these little bits at the top, do you see? You just cut strips off here and stick it to your building. Either your cornices or your sills or all that sort of thing right okay so i'm just going to do one very quickly here's a little bit of what's it called greenery bear with bear with here we go no that's a bit of grayery oh but you know what that's sort of inspired because what i might do is you can have to sort of ah oh, there it is might have to sort of um anyway that that's just a little bit of printed it off, stuck it on a bit of card, okay, the green. Now, watch, here's my 
Can you see that? Yes, you can. Ruler, sharp knife, a dagger I call it. It's not really a dagger, it's a sharp knife. And you just, the width you want it to go across the top it will be, I don't even measure this. For me, near enough is good enough. Here we go. Just chop it down, chop it down. Keep it tight, keep it tight. There we are. Like that now, oh, I've got a bit of a hole in there, but we get it to exactly how we want it, which will be there. Right, now because it's a card, here's a little bit. I, I like to, you're gonna cut through and you're gonna get white on the edge, okay? So what I've done, I've just gone to a friend of mine and borrowed some old paints. Um, and I'm just gonna paint the edges a little bit. You know, I mean, this is what they, what I think they call, um, that wasn't very good, was it? I've got any water. You just, um, oh, I just need to go and do something. Oh, and we're back here. That was just a little thing. So I'm now just going to paint the white edges. Can you see that? And think you can, like that. Okay. Uh, for the dark ones, just get a dark paint. Any old dark paint will do it. Um, you might even have your, your um, enamels will do it, anything, basically. But just gonna do that, see? And then get the old townhouse like that. Oh, and it's like actually building a house, I love it. And I get my old glue, just run it across the top there like that, look. Oh, eh, 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 eh. Lovely job. And you just get your little cornice top and pop it on. And hey, presto. And it just finishes the top off. And that is attention to detail. And believe me, these little things, it's worth doing. It really is. And it's so easy. It's, and it just finishes it off. It's like any decent piece of art because basically you are creating something special here. And it's up to you, of course. We could convert this, make it twice as long as you, if you wanted, higher, as we've done with this one. Do you see? Different heights. The world is your absolute lobster. It's not lobster, is it? It's oyster. That's no, neither of those. But it's your, the world is your, what's it called? So there we are. And that's the type of thing. I'm going to show you something else. But first of all, I've just made this little chimney, which I think went on the floor. There we are. All you do, all you do, is get your building like this. Once you've made it, I'm gonna make something slightly different. It's gonna be very exciting. It's gonna be like a skylight, yeah? And you just simply, watch this. There you go. I'm gonna show you something really simple now, after this. And a bit of glue on it, what's it called? Put it wherever you want it. I think about there would look swish, wouldn't it? And there he is. Actually, I'm didn't build that very good. It's on a bit of a lean, so I'm gonna make it go that way. <laughs> See what I mean? But there we go. Oh, look, it just makes a massive difference, doesn't it? I'm gonna show you something really old now, really good, really, really, really good. What about this? Again, it's just a piece of, and you'll get this in the package. It's just general roofage tarmac that can go everywhere, do lots of things. I've just cemented a bit of it onto here. What about you just do this? This is about as simple as it can get. Really, just chop a little square of it. It's on card. Chop a little square, little square, like this. Watch this, this is all it is, it's a little square. I don't know what it is. I don't know anything about the tops of buildings, do you? Of course we don't, I mean, you know. Just gonna paint around the edges like I did before. It's a little square, that's all this is. Look, but it's raised. So what it's doing, just by this little thing, is it's given your roof a little bit of, look at that, a little lift, a little just something. It's just something and nothing. But these are the touches that we love. But, for, but now I'm going to build something for, let's see where I've got my, a little thing for my roof here for this one. It's going to be a little skylight already. So I've just, what I've done is a slightly different 
brickwork. Don't forget there are many brickworks now. I think we've got six, is it? Five or six in the package, is it? I don't know, something like that. So you can build as many different things as you want. I'm going to use a slightly different brickwork for the top of this one. And here we go. This is very exciting. So all I'm going to do, I've stuck a bit of um, brick to the card. I'm now going to, what about we do this? Chop them down like this, that sort of thing. All right, I'm going to do this as quick as I can. And I'm just, I, I'm, I'll tell you what, I'm making this up pretty much on the spot, just to show that you can sort of do anything you want. I'm going to just use this again to paint around the edge and hold on. What about we go like this? Um, oh, oh, I've got a plan. I love it when a plan comes together. Yes, that's about exactly right, wouldn't you say? Chop him down like this. You don't quite know what I'm going to do yet. Shall I tell you why? Because nor do I. <laughs> but experiment. That's what this game's all about. You know, you can have a right old giggle. So that's going to be two walls that are going to be opposite each other, right? Okay. You can, this, you can love this. And you can all love doing this sort of thing. I could do this sort of thing all day. Um, now, once again, you've got the white edges there, yeah. Don't really want those. Can you see that? So I'm just going to paint them round again. Look, just to I'll try and use um, paint the right colour, but I haven't got it. So it's, I've only got one paint here. You see, so there we go. Bingo. So there's those two. And then we want it's a square. I've even got a bit of paint accidentally on the brickwork. Well, that's good. That's a bit of grime, isn't it? That's accident. That's what they call a happy accident in the trade. You know, this is these houses are lived in. They don't want to be all too, what's it called? Now, I'm going to, oh, that goes there, that goes there. I've got to think about this. I want it to be on a, a bit of a slant. So I'm going to do the same, cut another piece off the same width like this. Get it on the chopping board. You don't want to be slicing through the table. You're getting get in terrible trouble with someone. Oh God, if I, if I carve through here onto Deborah's oak table. <laughs> so be careful. That was close. And there we go. There we are. So basically we're back to the simple, simple thing of their boxes. All these buildings are boxes. All the buildings on the buildings are boxes. So it's very, 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 very simple. You know, it takes you a bit of time, but we what's wrong with that? I've got this new plan. Watch this. I want the box to be a bit slanty, so I'm going to chop this down to there, all right? Because you know when you get a skylight, it's quite often on a slant. This might be look a bit complicated, but we've got these two pieces, right? Okay? You see that? Here we go. One, two. I know you people that are interesting in doing these sorts of bits are pretty clever so it's so it's pretty easy for you to see that so I'm now going to do the two side bits it'll all come together stay with it stay with it keep with me keep with me there we are and that's another one. <gasps> oh, look now we get this one the same size again so it's going to be in a sort of a type of a square nice Oh, sometimes that happens. There we are. That's got a bit of a what's it called on it. There we are. Perfect. Paint around the edge of these. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Bang, bang, the mighty fall. Bang, bang. There we are. Look at that. It's always good to sing along when you're doing your stuff because it's, you know, you've got to keep singing. You've got to keep singing. So there's the ends and these are going to be the sides so we want one end of it to be as high as that and one end of it to be as high as that okay so that's easy done isn't it so that will go to, to, to there so here we go I'm going to get that nice little what's it called on slant it, it, it's interesting this is just like building a mini house on top of your house it's all the same I just love it, I just think it's great. The other one has to be the same, but of course it's the other side, so we need it to go against it, okay? So it's this way. 
you will make, I make mistakes all the time, but the beauty of it is, if you make a mistake while you're cutting this stuff up, it really doesn't matter because you just print a load more out because you can print as many as you want. Don't forget. And just carry on. So it's not like you've got one kit and you're working from one kit. You, you, get, you get this bundle and you just, you can, you, you've got, oh, I've done that one too small. Look. See, that's what I mean about making a mistake. It happens. So now I've got to, <laughs> now I've got to even this one up a bit. People once said, or I heard someone say about anything, I think as a jazz musician or someone said, well, if you're not making mistakes, you're not doing it right. Remember that, okay? I know that sounds like gobbledygook, but it, it's, when you think about it, isn't it? It's how, you, it's how you get good at things, isn't it? By practicing and making mistakes. So that we're going to do plenty of that. I've done it all my life. You know, it's all manner of sort of things. And now we're going to stick our four bits together. I'm just going to put them on the... Look at that there. Those four bits, see them? Like that. Don't know if you can really see that. Can you see that? Um, right, so I get my glue, which I like to use something like this. Let's just stick. Oh, now this is exciting, but this is where I get like that. So let's just let's just stick him at the base of the first bit of wall, all right? Try and get that. I don't know about you, but when I'm sort of gluing stuff, I get it sort of everywhere. End up gluing my what's it called to my thing. So we shove that there like that, and that just sticks straight in. So that's the back. See that? Very nice. Now I'm going to get my side bits, which are my slanters. Ready? Bang, like this. Oh, and obviously on the bottom of the piece, like this. It's like a, not really like a jigsaw. And because I've got paint on my hands, it's getting quite messy, but as I've explained, I quite like that because it, it gives it that, you know, these houses weren't built yesterday. You know, they've got a bit of history going on. So nothing wrong with that. And then we go bash, bash, bash with the other side, right? Love it, love it. Here he goes. Look. Stick. Oh, can you see what's can you see what's happening? I've just got to do that so it's perfect. Perfect. Look at that. See, and it's like you know when you build something and you get halfway through building something and you you, cut, you start to see it coming together. Anything. I mean, it might be when I say build something, I might be talking about a dinner. You know, a, a, anything. And then it starts to become something. It's ever so exciting, and it's creating. You know, you're creating. You, but when you people come round and I, when you've discovered how easy this is, um, it takes a bit of time. There's that. Um, but when you've discovered that it's actually quite an easy thing to do, and your friends come round and stuff, and they marvel at how clever you've been, right? Um, what you don't do. And this is between me and you lot out there. You don't say, look, 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 look. You don't say, oh, it was easy. You say, oh, oh, blimey. I wouldn't advise you to do it if I were you. So that's, that's the deal, even though it is easy. Now we're gonna try and stick me old windows on here. So I've just stuck those, took two windows off my sheet, one of these sheets with all the windows on. The ones that I wanted, you choose whichever ones you want. That's the beauty of it. You choose yours. I've chosen these. You might not agree with me. Absolutely ideal. I'm going to chop around them like this. Simple as that. Get, I'm getting quite excited because I really have just busked this together. And I just wanted to do it this way today to show you, you know, that you can just experiment on the hoof. It's what it's about. I mean, you, you lot are all... You know, imaginative people, you've got to be, to be you know, involved in this fantastic, um, some people call it a hobby, but I'd, I'd call it, I'd say it's something bigger than that, but, um, but that's me. So there we are, just painting around the edge again, and that little white bit with a little bit of paint. 
You can just get just go to the just go to any old little toy shop and get toy paints. It does it just as well. You don't have to be you don't have to be any good at painting to do this. And then I put it there. Oh, right, it goes about just about fits by a little bit of more sick cold. Fortuitous snap. Now I've lost me good. Are you like me? Do you put something down and you can never find out? I bet you are. Well I think all us sorts that do this sort of thing, you know, that's sort of creative sort such creative but obviously not any sort of kind of genius or anything like to look i didn't think where i put that down but so i'll just pop him on the top and then you've got a look, look at that there he goes look at that see that was just very very quickly done nice little skylight at the top can be anything i don't know if that's that's not brilliantly done you take a little bit more time and you get it even better than that. What about that? Fantastic. And you can do whatever you want. One last thing I'm going to leave you with. You notice on the old industrial sweep. That's what I like to call it. Industrial sweep. Look at that. It's industrial sweep. You will notice the, what do they call it? Um, drain pipes. Yeah? down from the gutters. Now all that is, is a series of, I've got one here somewhere, a series of these cocktail sticks, yeah? It's all they are, painted black. I did have one knocking around somewhere. It's probably over here somewhere. It isn't. You just paint them black or whatever color you want, gray, green, whatever color you want you put. And then you just stick it. If you wanted one on here, you paint it, and then just say you wanted it down the side of the building, and there you go. You just stick one, two, however many it takes. And that gives it just that extra little bit of relief. What about that? Happy building, people. Happy building. Come on.